Hello my beautiful people, it's so cold in my house. So today I am going to be doing a remote photo shoot. So there's this brand, Miyakoda. If you follow me on Instagram, you have noticed that I've worked with them quite a few times. This is, I believe, my fourth remote shoot with them because of the pandemic. If not, I will probably be shooting like with them in person. Uh, but this brand is from New York. I connected with them like a few years ago. I did a shoot with, I can link it over here. I did a shoot with Christiana. She was one of the finalists. Uh, she was in America's Next Top Model. Uh, you might have seen that video. So anyways, I am getting ready to shoot for them. I did my makeup. I did a full, a full, full like service <laughs> of myself, like a full, like a full makeover, a full service on this body that I have you know like I cut my nails I did my eyebrows I shaved everywhere even my bottom lip and my chin I get like a few hairs there you know I took a shower I did my hair this time I diffused it like right after I did my uh, hair routine so if you're wondering like how you can get like I haven't like scrunched out the gel cast but you get the most definition with like wavy hair if you diffuse it but i'm trying to like reduce the amount of heat that i put on my hair but today because of the shoot i didn't so anyways i am going to scrunch out the hair and then i'm going to start shooting i really hope that well today unfortunately it's very cloudy it's not like super sunny and this is like my window that i have right in front of me is a window it's like my main source of light <sighs> but there's nothing i can do i have to shoot today already got ready so we'll work with what we can fortunately besides obviously my window lighting i have my ring light um so we're gonna be using that one too. Oh my god, look at my curls! Ah! Also, I'm like super excited about my makeup. I did that thing. That thing on my eyes. Ah! I've never done it because I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna mess this up. So I was putting my eyeshadow on. And I noticed that I was doing like the, the shape. And then I was like, what if I keep going? You know, and I did it with a lighter color. And then I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna do it. And I really like the, you know, cause it's not like super like, you know, it's like subtle for like a photo shoot, like nothing crazy. So I'm gonna take away from the beautiful stuff that I have to model. All right, super excited. Ah, look, so much volume, oh my God. Okay, yo, okay. All right, so I'm gonna make sure with this camera and then I am going to be putting this on a tripod I'm gonna find where I'm gonna be shooting first and I might have to screen record my phone to be able to show you like the poses and stuff because I'm gonna be using my phone to direct the camera and shoot myself that sounds so bad <laughs>
guys so hopefully i was able to show you a little bit of behind the scenes of how i was doing it it, this is like a very slow shoot for me because I am the model and the photographer and the makeup artist and the hairstylist and everything so I have to make sure that my makeup is on point and I don't have hairs on my face and I'm putting it in the stuff like right so basically if you had been able to tell in this video oh my little heart is that I was modeling this shirt and I was modeling these um, hats so basically, I, like I said, I put my um, my camera on a tripod and I put the ring light. The the light the light coming in my room is like literally like nothing at this point. Like it's really dark. It's really cloudy, winter time. So thankfully, this camera gets really really good light, and thankfully, I have the ring light. I basically shot on this plain wall since I wasn't doing like full body I think it worked really well and I think because this is like a lounge kind of wear type of clothes obviously you can wear outside but it's like a very like comfy clothes I think like the fact that I have a bedroom door in it I don't think it's like a bad thing for this particular photo shoot and here's the camera and here is the tripod and then here is the ring light that I was using now I'm going to edit the photos and I'm going to put the final results here so you can see um, what I ended up getting from this photo shoot. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you any type of insight of the stuff that I do as a petite model, things that you can do on your own. Uh, I think this video is very important for the people that are not signed to an agency and they can actually get jobs on their own because it's, it's a non-agency job. Like I got it on my own. I connected with the brand on my own and I've been working with the brand on my own. And also even with a model that's already signed to an agency and she wants to work more, like a hundred percent unless your contracts read your contract but unless your contract uh doesn't allow you you can always book jobs on your own because you know you guys we have to be like hustling we're in the middle of a pandemic but even prior to pandemic um you know this is something very very important that you know models are not like super super like high up and famous and stuff like we have to get jobs on our own so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video hope it was helpful in any shape or form if you like anything if you like my makeup i'm so proud of it <laughs> if you like anything out of this video let me know in the comments which one was your favorite part uh or any other type of video that you want to see i know you guys really enjoyed my last vlog so i mean not this one i feel like i'm gonna post another one and then this one but the previous previous one that i posted i know a lot of you really liked it and wanted to see more of like my day-to-day -day life of what i do as a model but anyways <laughs> make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already hit that like button for me please follow me on all my other social media platforms if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next one bye